Hi everyone. I hope you're all having a great evening. Just wanted to get on here and share how nice my daughter retwisted my hair. Cause it was I like it. I like my hair either way, whether it's new growth or it's twisted, but I told her I'd take a moment to get on here and show. She just finished it like half an hour ago and I came out from under the dryer, but yeah. I wanted to update you guys too as far as the live because I was supposed to get on here tonight. I had said I don't have to do it, but I had said I was gonna get on here tonight and do the um turkey wings, like finish up the creative marinade. But I decided that since I was in the middle of doing my hair, I would just of getting my hair done, I would just um let that meat continue to marinate and tomorrow it will taste a whole lot more flavorful and i also added bay leaves which on the live when i did the marination and i put the turkey wings in the bag i didn't show that but then i went back and added a couple of bay leaves and tomorrow i will finish the dish by browning them and then putting them in the instant pot and showing you how I make a nice juicy pot of creative marinated turkey wings. Like I said, that marinade was the first time I tried it. So I'm learning as well. By the way, the steak that I showed, the pot roast that I showed earlier that was in the crock pot. I need to, I really said, Sharon, you should have showed how tender, how fork tender that is. Well, it's so late now, I can't eat anything, so I'll probably do that tomorrow. But like I said, this is just an update. And then to just show my retwist and to give Tandra a shout out, my daughter did my retwist. I, I think she did a, a wonderful job. And if you need a retwist or if you, you know, if you know anybody who have natural hair and uh, they wear them in locks, I'm going to be real, she's excellent at locks. And that's what I'm giving her props for because she really does a great job at retwisting. I do say so myself. Very nice. And so I told her, I said I would get on here and really show, you know, because a lot of times you guys will see me with a scarf on and that's because I, by from working out all the time, I prefer my hair to number one, be protected from the dirt because we're always on the floor doing some routine. And then because it holds the sweat from running in my face. Also, with product on your hair, you don't want to, like I say, pick up dirt. And the product also helps to lay the hair down. So I had to learn what products to use that worked for my hair. But she did a, way, she did a great job. And it took me a while to, I won't say to embrace my locks because I've had them nine years. But I embraced them from a long time ago i had to go through so many stages to get them like this but there are different levels to different stages and i had to get to that level where you know like i don't know i'm talking to women where in this case when who wear weaves and perms we like our edges i've always loved to have my edges lay down but oftentimes there's not a lot of there weren't a lot of products that did the job for me so that's where going natural was a, it was kind of like a hiccup in my brain because I'm like, if I go natural, what am I going to do with my edges? And some people say, well, if you go natural, why do you want, because it enhances the way I feel and look. Just to me, when my edges can lay down and they are soft, that just makes it to me, the style look neater on my face. Some people, and, and when it's grown out and it's not, um, and I don't have the edges neat, I think it's beautiful too. But like if I'm going out to an event, I'm, I'm, my husband's taking me out or I'm going to church or some kind of fancy thing. And you know, you want to put on a very nice dress or outfit. It is nice to have your edges laid and slayed, as they say. So I had to learn what products and I'm not, I'm basically, I'm staying, I'm sticking to cooking. I'm not going to go into hair, but I did want to give her a shout out. So if any of you guys know somebody that wears locks, they need a twist, retwist, um, She's excellent at that. Now, I washed it myself. I conditioned it myself. She simply retwisted it. 
I guess it also you do all of that, right? Wash. Yes, she'll yes, also yes, wash it and condition it for you as well. You have your product. She can do that. But I usually wash and condition myself. And then she'll do the retwist and she'll do the, um, she'll put me under the dryer, that kind of thing. I know how to do this myself. I can retwist my own locks, but because I can't see the spaces and stuff, I oftentimes don't have it right. I just don't have it neat like this. And then with this shoulder reaching up like this right now, I can reach up and do it. But the first time I tried to retwist because she was out of town and my shoulder was messed up. Oh, my God. Every braid just was like excruciating and excruciating. And the other reason why I post, I'm posting this because a friend of mine that I've known for, oh, gosh, I've known her 30 years. And so she asked me tonight. She's in New York. She's in Brooklyn. And I'm here in Florida. And she... She wasn't being rude or nothing like that. She just asked a question. And we've been talking regularly off and on, you know, over the last many years. And even live, we do, I, I'll call her sometimes and, and I'll cook, right, live while I'm talking to her on live. And she, she asked me tonight, she said, what did she say? She said, is that your, she said, no. First she said she thought they were braids. I said, no, they're locks. And then she said, Oh, you mean someone tied the locks onto your head? And I said, no, these are my locks. This is my hair. My hair's been like this for nine years. Not this length. It took nine years to get this length. She said, oh, now I've known her 30 years and she didn't know. So I, I just encourage anybody who's wanting to go natural, any male, men that want to grow locks or... Or, or women who want to go natural, but they're afraid because they, like me, at first, I was all about what they're going to say. What are the people going to say? Now, you know that's crazy. I know that now because I've had my hair like this for nine years. But in the beginning, it was like, what's my mother going to think? What are people going to think? Ha, ha, ha. You know, it was like crazy, like crazy stuff. And I, I can't even imagine, I mean, nine years ago, my hair, my daughter's both. I have two daughters, and one of them was naturally gifted as a hairstylist. The other one, she learned. But the, the one that's uh, old, the younger one, she cut my hair down to about that length right there. She took, because I had perm on it, and I had bad ends and stuff like that. So she cut it down to like that right there. And I had to, I was working in the hospital, a registered nurse, and I had to go to work like that because I, before that, I had a nice flowing, um, perm wrap and the thing just my hair will perm nicely and then you know the beauticians would do it and they would show me how to wrap it and stuff and next thing you know two three weeks later it's falling it was it would be i would be picking up hair and i'm using the products they told me to use i'm doing whatever they said to do and my hair just is falling out the comb is full of hair and i got tired of it and my daughter at some point then i went back to weaves long story short they started cutting my hair, um, cutting all the ends off little by little. They didn't give me a big chomp. They just would take off a little bit every in between twists. And as they um, as they grew a little bit, they would take Kai would take a little bit off. Hello, Michael. She he uh, Kai would take a little bit off. Hope your evening is going wonderful. I'm on here just 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 having a little chit chat with my friends and I. Um, Wanted to give my daughter a shout out because she just retwisted my hair. And so, to those who may be looking for a person, a loctician, she is one. She does an excellent job. And so, I went back over how this started. But basically, without taking too long, they would um, each, I think they would retwist my hair like every two weeks. And maybe about every other month or so, they would trim the ends. And so, it got to a point that I just... I got tired of this every two weeks retwisted because I, I don't like to do hair. I don't like to be sat down. Well, you, was getting, you was doing two strand twists on you. I don't like to be sat down. And then um, it had to be done every week. I don't like to be sat down and made to sit every week for hair. I just am not into hair like that. I don't like going to the beautician. I just don't. So after a while, it started to pull on me. And I started asking God, what do you want me to do with this? And I kept hearing the voice of the Lord say, lock it up. And I was like, but like I said, what are they going to say? Who is they? 
I was like, what? My mom was alive. I was like, what is my mom going to say? People want to think that I'm nuts. And when am I going to be able to go to, to my job like that? And, and, and in the beginning, it was ugly. I mean, like, when I say ugly, it wasn't what I was ready for. It was pretty the way they did it. But I had to get used to my face. I had to get used to my edges not being like I thought they should look. Because every time you get a perm, you know, black women, a lot of times we get a weave or perm. We want everything slicked down and all that. So I had to get used to the fact that that's not the case. And when you're first starting out, they don't lock right away. They take It takes a while. It takes maybe a year or so before you get them to lock. So if water hits them, they frizz up. You know, you get out the shower, you got frizzies and different things. So it took a while. But at this point, I'm so thankful to to God for, for giving me that um, heart of, of courage to go natural and then to actually embrace me. Because no matter what I did, I have to live with it. And I went to work every day. I went to church. And I had little squeakly hair like that. And it was okay. And that, and they, even at that stage, people wanted to touch it. And I was like, why? Why are you trying to touch my hair? But either how, now we're here. And so between giving her a shout out for her awesome, look at this. She's, she's, she's just awesome. She just really did a great job. She really did. I'm so proud of her. And I just think that she did a great job. And updating you on my turkey wings, tomorrow I will be completing the Creative Marinade. That's the title of the video. I started it today where I did my own marinade because I am a marinade queen. I call myself, I dub myself the sauce and marinade queen. So lots of times when I do a cooking video, you may see me come up with some type of marinade. You don't know where it came from because I do that. That's what I like to do. I like to dibble and dabble and all type of flavors. I'm an infusion um, chef. I have had a food cart and a caterer, and I learned to do that. I learned to be creative, to be unique and different. So I try something tonight. Now, tomorrow, you tune in, and I will brown them and show you how I finish them in the Instapot. So for now, thanks so much for watching. And like I said, if you know anybody who needs a retwist, just message me, inbox me, and have them inbox me or however it goes and we'll set that up thank you so much for watching also if you would like to you could visit my videos is the easiest way to find my videos on youtube is to go through facebook right now because i'm a small account and it just won't pop up on this search feed so you can go through the videos on you on facebook click on the video and then it'll take you through to show you where it's at on youtube as long as i've uploaded it to youtube then you can uh, actually subscribe to my YouTube page and that helps me to grow. Thank you so much. Have a blessed evening and a wonderful Sunday. Talk to you later. Bye, Michael.